Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever visited a natural wonder that is more than 400 years old? Today, we are taking you on a journey to Dodda Aladamara, the largest banyan tree in the state of Karnataka. Welcome back. We are going to the big banyan tree located in the picturesque village of Kathali, Bangalore Urban District of Karnataka. We started our day by driving down Nice Road. This tour took us the first time, I know. It's really a nice road. After the toll, we merged into the scenic Bangalore Mysore Road. Passing through small towns and villages, enjoying the breathtaking views of the lush greenery and grape farms along the way. Although the road was pleasant, it was patchy and interrupted by small towns, villages and human settlements. Along the way, we passed many nurseries and grape farms. However, if you're only visiting the Big Banyan tree, you might want to reconsider as the traffic may be a little overwhelming. As we reached the Dodda Alamada Mara, we were amazed by the sheer size of this 400-year-old banyan tree. There is no dedicated parking, but there is ample space in the roadsides to the park and along the Karnataka Tourism Hotel. The tree is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Covering an area of over three acres, it is the largest banyan tree in the state of Karnataka the fourth largest in the country. The tree has a circumference of more than 250 meters and its con canopy constantly widens over the years. The tree has stood to witness the country's development for the last 400 years. As we walked around, we couldn't help but notice insensitive people have carved graffiti on it. It is sad to see such a beautiful natural wonder being vandalized like this. The soil underneath the tree has remained consistent over the years making it popular, a popular spot for botanity students to experiment and research. The tree is covered with fencing on all sides and the horticulture department takes initiative to conserve it. Like, share, and subscribe. Please like and share. In May 2022, 
heavy rain and wind damaged and uprooted one of the tree's main roots, which is still visible in September. Like and share, subscribe. The tourism department also runs a restaurant near the spot, offering food and water to visitors. There are also a few small shops that sell tea and snacks. Apart from the tree's natural beauty, it also holds a religious significance. With a Shiva temple located nearby, many locals believe this tree has divine powers. While the original 400-year-old banyan tree is dead, many of its branches are alive and well. The Department of Horticulture has provided supports for several horizontal branches. However, the place needs a better maintenance and better ambience for tourists to spend time. Although the garden area is small, with only 400 meters of walkable track and a few seating benches, it is a great place to spend one or two hours with your family. If you're a nature enthusiast, this natural wonder is a must visit. And even if you're not, this is worth adding to in your itinerary if you're in the area. Overall, our visit to the big banyan tree was an unforgettable experience and we highly recommend it to nature enthusiasts and anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. So, that's it for today's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for amazing travel content like this. See you in the next one.
ये ट्राई करना है ये भी हमें 